Good day, class. Let's discuss operation of sets. So we have operations of sets, we have unions of sets, intersection of sets, complement of a set, difference of two sets, and symmetric difference of set. Now first is, let's discuss union of sets. The union of A and B. So you have set A and B. So we will unite them. So its notation is like this. A union B. So this is the notation. Okay. So it is defined as X such that X is an element of set A or X is an element of B. So that is the definition. And in other words, it is is a set is the set of all elements X in the universal set such that x is in A or x is in B. So that is union of set. Let's have an example. Let's, let's try another color. Okay. Example 1. If the universal set having the element of 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, and you have set A, one, two, set B having the elements of two, three, four. What is A union B? So the answer is here is you just unite the elements in A and B. So you have one, two, three, four. So this is the answer. Okay, so to discuss this further using the Venn diagram, union is like this. So this is the Venn diagram. So you have the universal set. And then you have here set A and set B. Union is, you just shade all elements in A and B, including the intersection. Now, in this example, so this one, so you have the universal set. So you have, this is your set A and this is your set B. So your your set A is 1, you have 1, then you have both 2, intersection, 3 and 4. And then you have in the universal set, you still have 5 and 6, which is outside um, set A and B. So what you're going to do is, the answer is this one. Okay, so this is the representation using Venn diagram. Now, to elaborate it more, Let's have, let's try to discuss this symbol. This symbol is simply read as or. This is disjunction. Disjunction. What does it mean when you say disjunction? So if P is true or Q is true, or if both P and Q are true, then P or Q is true. Otherwise, P or Q is false. Okay, so that is the meaning of our disjunction. And this, let's have a table form so you will understand it better. So P and Q are propositions. It can be any proposition. Proposition are declarative statements 
Okay, so we have this. So you have true, true, false, false. And your Q, true, false, true, false. When you combine P or Q, so the result here is, let me just erase this. If P, if P is true and Q is true, if both P and Q are true, then P or Q is true. So as true, 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 false, true, false, true, true. If na like true nila, true na yung answer. Otherwise, P or Q is false if wala yung true. So this is false. So this is the truth table under disjunction. Now, comparing this to the definition of the union set. So we have here, this is the definition. Let me rewrite it here. So the definition is A union B x such that x is an element of a or x is an element of b now you have here the first proposition and the second proposition so this is our p and this is our q so you have the first proposition x is an element of a the second proposition is x is an element of b and the combination is x is an element of a or x is an element of b okay wait okay now we have we have the universal set one to six so we have here one two three four five six we will test each element using the propositions and then you have the disjunction. Now, 1 is an element of A, right? As you can see here, 1 is an element of A. So this is true. And it's not an element of B, B so it's false. So this is true, meaning it is included in the union. How about element 2? So you have 2, both A and B have the elements of 2. So you have true, true. Since now my true, true shots, so it's included. 3. So you have here, um, 3 is in, in element B. So you have, this is false because 3 is not an element of A, but it is an element of B. So it's true. Now my isa ka true, true na ni. So basta nalay usa ka true, any of the proposition, if you're if your um, compound statement is uses this disjunction, it will be true. So how about how about four? So you have four in B. So this is false, true, true. Now five and six. As you can see, there is no five in element A and six in element B. So this is false, false. Thus, it is not included. 6 is also false, false, it is not included. So we have the answer, 1, 2, 3, 4 is the union of A and B. So the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4 only. So you have this as our A union B. So this is the explanation using our disjunction. Okay, let's have an example. The second example. Okay, so the second example, let me use um, another method of writing sets. We have two methods. We have the rooster method. The rooster method means you're listing or enumerating, enumerating the elements. Okay, while the rule method or what we call the set builder notation it is simply describing the elements so that is the difference between rooster method rule method or rule method or um, some of the book called it set, set builder notation so for example number two let's try to use rule method since 
Our example number one is a rooster method because we are listing all the elements. As you can see, we are all listing the elements. Rule, um, rule method is describing the elements. So we have the universal set x such that x is an integer. So this is an example of a rule method because we are describing the sets or the elements. Now, if A is X such that X is the first six, the first six positive, um, excuse, the first six positive even number, and B is um let's have rooster zero two four seven what is a union b okay to have an easy grasp we need to first convert no convert this to rooster what do you think is the rooster method of our set a x such that x is the first six positive even number so the first six positive even number is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Now, 0 is not included because 0 is non-positive, non-negative. So, this is our rooster method from this rule method. Now, we can easily combine A and B now. So, A union B is simply 0, 2, 4, 6, um, you have 7, 8, 10, 12. Okay, so that is our answer for example number 2. Okay, now let's have example number 3. So example number 3. Let's have another color to make it colorful. <laughs> okay, class, so... Let's have the universal set is x such that x is a over b, where a and b are elements of an integer, where b is not equal to 0. Okay. And let's have, um, well, this, this one, if you still remember your number system, this is can be written as x such that x is a rational number. Because this is just the definition, this one, and this at us, this is just the definition of a rational number. Rational number can be expressed in fraction form. That's it. So anyway, let's have a um, example. A is x such that x is a whole number or an element of a whole number and then we have b x such that x is a negative integer negative integer okay now what is a union b now a whole number starts with zero one two three and so on so the three dots here is what we call ellipsis. So this is set A in rooster. Now set B in is a negative integer. So you will have negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on. So you have the ellipsis there. You will combine A and B. So let's have the ellipsis. You have negative three, negative two, negative one. And then the whole number, 0, 1, 2, 3, ellipsis. So you have this, the answer. This is already correct in rooster form. Now, if you want to convert that into set builder notation or in rule method, you have x such that x is, what do you call this? This number is an element of an integer very good so that's it 
So this is this is the answer for example number three. So you can have this as a rooster or a set builder notation or rule method. So we have A union B. Okay, so you have example number three, you have example number two, and this is how you explain the symbol disjunction or in connection to union set. This is how you perceive it in a Venn diagram form. And this is the definition of the union operation of set, union of A and B. So, let's have our next operation of set. 